Hi guys, and welcome back to another Sonya's Beauty Break video. I am back with my second Juice Beauty review. So about four months ago, I did my first initial Juice Beauty review. Um, I was having some problems with my skin and I went into Ulta and Juice Beauty was something that was highly recommended to me and I bought about four products at the time. If you have not seen that video, please stop here and watch that video first. I will have the link to that video down in the description box. In that video, you will actually get to see me using the products and you will also get to see my first impression of the products, why I went ahead and went with that brand and just my thoughts on the products that I chose at the time. So with this second video on Juice Beauty, I figured since my first video got over a thousand views, um, I would go ahead and do a follow up video about the products that I bought, any new products that I've purchased and what's working and what's not working. Also what I would repurchase and what I would not repurchase. Okay, so to start off, I'm gonna let you know what products that I bought from Juice Beauty and the products that I still use right now. Um, so I still use a face wash that I bought in the initial video. I'm actually currently out of the face wash, but I'll post a picture here so you'll see exactly uh, which face wash that I purchased. I also purchased the Oil Free Moisturizer. So this one right here. And I'll also uh, put in the description box how much these products cost. I purchased the Green Apple Peel Blemish... The Green Apple Peel Blemish Clearing mask I'm guessing so this I also purchased the hydrating mist as well as the juice beauty blemish clearing serum I'm gonna go through these products um, and talk about the things that I like and what actually worked for me and then talk about the things that didn't do anything for my skin at all so starting off I'm gonna talk about the face wash the face wash is definitely one of my favorite products Reason being is because it's all natural. The whole Juice Beauty line is supposed to be organic, um, but it's all natural. It has mostly fruits that are the majority of the base of the face wash to my understanding. Um, but just some of the perks of that face wash is it's one of the only face washes that actually remove all of the makeup from my skin. So even when I have run out of makeup remover or makeup wipes, I can use that face wash on a full beat and it will remove the makeup from my skin and my skin will be clear. Um, it's a very slippery kind of texture so it's not something where you're you when you put something on your face and it kind of goes eh, eh, because you have on makeup it really acts as almost like a, a makeup removing oil where it just kind of melts all the makeup off your face it's really good at getting the eyeliner and mascara off your face um, and so I really enjoy that about the face wash another thing that I enjoy about the wash is it does not dry my skin out so I've said in the first video that sometimes I have some acne fighting face washes that have so much acid in them that my skin gets very dry right after I wash my face. Um, and so that doesn't happen with this face wash and I really enjoy that. And then also I find for me when I have pimples and I use that face wash, it does kind of dry the pimples down pretty quickly. It doesn't irritate the pimples. So whatever the um, products in that help fight acne in that face wash, it doesn't irritate my pimples and make them red and swollen. It actually just kind of dries them out, but they don't get inflamed, so to speak. So those are the things that I really like about that face wash, and it lasts a pretty long time. So I've only had to repurchase that face wash two times in the four months that I have been using Juice Beauty. So I would say that that face wash for me, someone who washes my skin uh, twice a day in the morning at night, it lasts about a month and a half for me. Um, you really don't need a lot. So a little does go a long way when it comes to that face wash, which is really good because it's gonna run you about 20 to $25 a bottle for that. So it's definitely something that's not the cheapest, it's not as cheap as drugstore face wash. So it's great that it lasts for a long time. So next in line, I'm gonna talk about the Oil Free Moisturizer. So this is a really good moisturizer, you guys. I really like this moisturizer. Once again, I've only had to repurchase this twice. So I initially started using Juice Beauty, so it's another product that lasts a long time. This is also gonna run you about $15 to $20 as well. 
And I still have, I don't know if you can see how much left I have in here, but I have about this uh, much left. And once again, a little bit goes a long way for this too. I find myself putting like a nickel size amount in my hand and that's enough. If I go over that, I'm going to have to be like rubbing in a whole bunch. Um, what I like about that moisturizer is it doesn't make my skin oily. So even though it's a thicker cream, my skin doesn't just ooze oil after I put it on. My skin really embraces that moisturizer and it also leaves me feeling moisturized throughout the day. So I don't ever feel like my skin has gotten dry or extremely oily. It just is a really, really good moisturizer. And I use this in the morning and at night because it's kind of heavy like a night cream, but it's also not too thick where you can wear it in the day. And it is summer right now. It's the middle of June and I'm still using this and I'm not having any problems with excessive oil on my skin so I really really like that and the final product which might be one of my favorite products even though I don't use it every day is the hydrating mist for some reason I have just fallen in love with this and this is actually still the first bottle that I ever purchased so I do not use this every day I want to reiterate that this is not something that is an everyday um, item in my skincare routine so it has lasted me this four months this is the only bottle that I've ever purchased of this however I really like this because it's something about when I go work out and I wash my face and then some of the times when I spray this on my skin it just refreshes my skin so much I'm thinking that I'm gonna start re using this more because like I said it is June in the summertime so you're gonna need a, like a refresher especially since I live close to the beach so this will be really good if you're having a no makeup day at the beach and you just kind of want to give your skin a little boost or if you're at the pool and you want to give your skin a boost the reason why I like this so much is I can use the moisturizer and spray this on my face and my skin will not get excessively oily like I have certain products that I've used in the past that have just ooze the oil out of my skin and these are supposed to be acne fighting and oil controlling products and they just don't work um, these two together I do not have any issues with access excess oil the majority of the time when I do spray this I will spray this before I go to bed um, it's really good to spray on your face if you use like a face mask or something like that it just really cools your skin it kind of almost shrinks your pores a little bit because it is a little cool and it just makes me feel like I just went through a sprinkler so I really really like this product um, I did spray some on before I started this video so it gives you like a little glow but I'm not like super duper oily so the face wash the moisturizer and the hydrating mist are my three favorite products out of the five products that I've purchased so with that being said I would purchase those products again I've already purchased the face wash and the moisturizer again and eventually when I run out of the mist I will be repurchasing that as well now let's get into the products that I feel like I wasted my money on. I'm sorry Juice Beauty, but you know everything doesn't work for everybody and I do feel like I wasted my money. I feel like I was kind of sold on these products when I went into Ulta um, and they just really didn't do anything for my skin. So first off, I'll start with the green apple peel because you guys will see me using this in that first initial video. I've used this twice in the four months and I love a good face mask, but this just don't do nothing for my skin. This is supposed to be a, let me see. So this is supposed to be kind of like a blemish clearing type of peel. Um, it says exfoliant and anti-imperfections peel. Um, and you're supposed to leave it on for 10 minutes. You're supposed to apply a generous layer. Um, and it says use one or two times a week at night because it is kind of like a, a, not a chemical peel, but it is a peel. So it has certain natural ingredients in it that might affect your skin if you use this during the day and you go out into the sun. Um, so I've done this twice and both times I just really didn't see a difference in my skin. And because this is a peel, I'm expecting for things to peel and nothing peeled so if I'm like using it wrong somebody let me know in the comments or if this is like something that just takes time for you to notice changes let me know in the comments but like nothing peeled so I'm trying to figure out what's it supposed to peel honey because nothing peeled over here I'm kind of um and I just feel like it didn't really 
brighten up my blemishes at all. I didn't see any type of brightening in my skin at all. I literally put this on. The first time I put it on, I left it on for 10 minutes and I wiped it off. I didn't see a difference. The second time I put it on and left it on for about 15 minutes, wiped it off and still didn't see any difference in my skin whatsoever. Um, and everything is not going to, you know, change your skin instantly. But most of the time when I'm using a mask, I can notice something that has changed in my skin immediately, whether it's the texture of my skin, whether it's the complexion of my skin, my pores or something. And I just really didn't get a kick out of this at all. So I will probably not purchase this again. I think I will continue to use it just to kind of play around with it and see if I need to use it more, like, you know, over a period of time to see a change. Um, but that was a negative and then the very last thing that did nothing for me even though I used it all was the blemish clearing serum so this serum and this peel were probably the most that the most expensive things that I paid for out of this line which is the reason why I used all of this because I wanted to you know I paid for it I want to use it they would start mowing the grass when I'm okay thank thank you Thank I'm just gonna try to talk loud and hopefully you guys can hear me over him cutting the grass. Okay, so with this serum, it did nothing for me. Like I said, I used it because I paid for it and I wanted to see if I used it over time, it would make a difference, but it didn't. This is also supposed to be another blemish clearing product so it's supposed to lighten up your dark spots but as you can see I still have you know acne scars I do have some hormonal acne coming up on my forehead right now I still have those scars so this just didn't work um, I did not purchase this at the time that I initially bought those products I think I purchased this maybe two weeks after I did my first video and um, I've been using it over time and it's done nothing. Honestly, the only thing that lightens up my dark spots is this brand of witch hazel. So this was about $30 waste of money because it did nothing. So this will also be something that I will not be repurchasing. Like I said, different strokes for different folks. This might, these two products might work on your skin, but for me, it didn't work. Um, Unfortunately, I don't think that Ulta gives samples like Sephora because I was going to say you could probably go in and get samples of these and see if you like them or not. But I would definitely just check out other people's reviews on these two products and just see if they've worked or not worked on other people. But of course, as you know, skincare like anything else is trial and error. So you might purchase these and it might work for you. But for me, it was a no-go. Alright guys, so that is my four month updated review on Juice Beauty. Um, please let me know if you have any questions in the comments. I am here to answer your questions about my opinions on the products. Like I said, the face wash, the moisturizer, and the boosting spray are my favorite. I will probably remain purchasing those unless I find something else that I like better. But as far as the green apple peel and the serum, I won't be wasting my coin on that anymore. It's up to you. But I won't be wasting my direct deposit on that anymore. Okay? Um, so, yeah. That is pretty much my updated review. If you see my skin now, it looks a lot like my skin looked in the video four months ago. My skin is doing pretty good right now. Not to say that I haven't had breakouts since then. Um, and like I said before, I have some hormonal acne going on right now. So I'm just getting over that time of the month. But for the most part, it has been helping keep my skin generally clear. Um, it has been helping me fight, you know, my acne as much as it can. And keeping my skin pretty much moisturized and keeping my oil controlled. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful to you all. Please make sure that you subscribe to my channel and like this video. Also leave a comment with any questions or comments that you have for me in general. And make sure you check out the latest vlog on my channel. Aha. Uh -huh.